Bangladesh is the seventh most disaster-prone country in the world. Every year, millions of children and youth face the negative impacts of floods, landslides, cyclones, and other disasters. Are the children and youths only victims, or could they be the change makers? A collaborative study aimed to find out the effective approach to engaging youth in reducing disaster risks in Bangladesh. This study analyzed key policies, including the National Plan for Disaster Management, National Adaptation Program of Action, Disaster Management Act, Sendai Framework for DRR, Hyogo Framework for Action to identify gaps in youth engagement, the research analyzed vulnerability context, risk reduction approach, youth engagement, outcomes, and good practices. Research found that the engagement of youth and children could be more effective in the pre-disaster phase compared to during and after the disaster. Youth made a significant impact on the community by adopting an innovative approach. In Rampal of Bagirha district, youths developed a digital database to identify households with children, older people, people with disabilities, and pregnant women so that they can be served first in any disaster. Government and development partners brought commendable success by engaging youths in disasters. However, the research reveals that challenges exist. Parents resist, especially for girls, due to security concerns. Besides, social stigmatization, limited resources, peer criticism, and lack of recognition warrant attention. The study recommends that more parental engagement programs might increase youth participation, especially girls. In addition, enhanced collaborations with religious leaders and educators and a developed platform for learning exchange and developing leadership are recommended. The study brings out three vital factors that made youth engagement initiatives successful. They are youth engagement with local government representatives, youth's relation with local influential stakeholders like religious leaders, teachers, and community leaders, adopting more innovative approaches. As change makers, youths should be perceived as active agents in the structure of the decision-making process. Let's empower youth to build a resilient future.